Hi, in this video I want to share with you some features about creating custom toolbars, saving custom layouts and loading custom layouts. As an example, I want to show you how to create a custom toolbar for listing information about geometry and mesh. If we look at listing functions for geometry, you'll see that there are many mouse movements and clicks required just to get to the entity. Select dialog. You'll also notice that with many of the functions that there is a unique icon associated with each command. To create a custom toolbar, we right click in the toolbars area and select customize. In the window that opens, you'll see a list of existing toolbars. So we select new and type in the name. This one we will call list. You'll now see list appears at the bottom. We now go to our commands window or commands tab. We can see there's a whole list of existing categories of existing FEMA commands. We go to the list command or the category and scroll down and we see there's a whole range of listing operations. If we drag our new toolbar to the, to the main window so we can see it easily, we can find, we, we can select the command that we're interested in and just drag it to the new toolbar window. So we can list points, we can move list curves to the window, list surfaces, list solids, and we can also go down and list nodes and elements. Now go close. Now we have our new toolbar created, um, which becomes part of the suite of toolbars that we have available to us. We can now reposition that into the main toolbar area so it's ready for us to use. We can now find that just with a single click, we are now able to select the nodes and the entities that we're interested in getting, generating a list for. When updating from one version to the next major version, layouts and custom tool, customized toolbars often disappear and as the new update refers to default settings. However, it is possible to save a preferred layout in a, you know, so that it can be reloaded into a new version. To do that, we go to File, Preferences, User Interface tab, and we save. And in the Toolbars region, we go to Save Layout. I like to keep my um, customised settings in, a, in an easy to find folder, so I usually go to a dedicated folder, and up here we will say, save this layout just as my layout. Okay. And you get asked what items you actually want to save, we'll just say it. Accept the default. Okay. Now, when we actually upgrade to a new major version, we want to be able to import our, our new, di uh, new dialogues and custom tools. To do that, it's the same path. We go to File, Preferences, and this time we will load a layout. We'll go to the same folder, the our custom settings folder. And this time, instead of loading my layout, I will actually load my preferred layout, which is David03. And I say OK. You only need to do this once uh, each time you have a major update. Female will remember what your current settings and layouts are. You'll now see that in this settings, they have a number of additional toolbars on display, including one relating to, to list, uh, ones related to deleting uh, entities and a whole range of other things. I also have my post toolbar located here on the side and I also have a, uh, another custom toolbar related to listing results to the data table. That concludes this video.
I hope you find this useful and assist you with your FEA work with FEMAP. If you wish to find out more about FEMAP, please contact HPLM using the address on the following slide. Thank you. Mm -hmm.